So today I'm going to do a video on how I braid a forelock. So to start with, I've dampened his forelock and now I'm going to use um, my plaiting spray, gel spray. I use this one, the Smooth Braids plaiting spray. So you just dampen down the top and also on either side a little bit, add a little bit of gel spray on either side. Then another option that you can also use if you want to is like a hair wax. This is my sculpting stick, but any of them will do the job. And so then I just rub it down the top a little bit and also on the sides. Come here, Webster. And so now, start off with, I'm going to section across the top, straight across. So see, I've just got a straight line straight across. And to start with, I'm just going to divide that into my three plaiting sections. So braiding and plaiting is actually very similar. And if you can plait, you can braid. All it is is that every time you do a plait movement, you then also pick up some hair and add it. So I'll show you. So to start with, I do a plait movement. So outside to middle, outside to middle. So I've done one on each side. So now I do one to the right on this side. Then I pick up some hair with my little comb and add it to the middle. And then switch sides. I do the plait movement. I pick up some hair and I add it to the middle. The reason I do the, the movement first and then adding the hair, I find I like that I think I can get it neater because I'm not, if you add the hair first and then do the movement, then you're actually moving the hair you've just added. By this way, you can actually add the hair. It's the same thing again. Pick up the hair and add it to the middle. And I'm just gonna do this all the way down. One of the tricks when you're doing your braids to get a really nice braid is also to try and keep your hands as close to their head as possible. Don't pull the braid away from the hair, from the head. So hold it nice and close to try and get it nice and firm. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it loose either. So once you've finished all picking up all the hair, once you've finished picking up the hair, brush it out, and now we're going to plait. And this is now the other trick, is to keep it down. So I'm not pulling it up like this to plait, I'm holding it flat down against his forehead. So plait down to the end of the braid, to the end of the forelock as much as you can. If you've got a super, super long forelock, you might not want to go the whole way. Um, I never, ever, ever trim four locks. So plait down most of the way and now I put the lackey on the end. So I've got a bit of an end left still as you can see. I put the lackey around a few times and now I just, to finish it, I just do a bit of a twist and twist the hair and then sort of fold it backwards and forwards a bit as you can see and then just wrap the lackey around it. being as careful as I can not to pull the forelock up. Because if I pull it up away from the forehead, I'm gonna loosen these hairs and therefore I won't get such a neat finish. So now I use a latch hook. So like, um, it's got a little latch on it so it closes. You can get these from any craft store. I do sell them on my website if you need one. And so what, to do this now, so I've opened the latch. Can you see that? Open the latch, and from the top, I push it down the center of the forelock, and I push it through and bunch it up so I can now see how the latch is now, I can close it. So the latch is closed, but you need the latch open when you push it down, or you won't be able to push it down because it'll get caught on the hairs. 
So now I've just looped the end of the plait onto the latch hook and I use the latch hook and then it's a little loop like this and I've just pulled that up really neatly. And then just to finish it, you can hey. sew them in. Come here, Reb. So I've just got, I use a needle. You can see that. It's quite a blunt needle with a big, nice big eye on it. So it's quite easy to thread, just with my plaiting thread. I don't knot it or anything. And I come up from the bottom through the plait and pull it until it, I can't see the thread and back down again, back up, down. I see now I've actually gone a couple of times, even though I didn't knot it, that's actually quite, it won't come out anyway. And then back up and I trim it off. And that is how I braid a forelock. I hope that's helped. If you got any questions, just let me know.